Today I will introduce you a stack from different industry, semiconductors. We all talk about chip shortages but is there a potential with these companies? Which one is better? I saw the potential in Micron technology. First, we will have a look at semiconductor industry growth cycles. Then I will analyze and compare Micron stock to its competitors, AMD, Intel, Nvidia, Texas Instruments and so on. At the end, looking at our checklist, I will make a price prediction for short and long term, mentioning entry points. Watch the video till the end to get best value from it. Micron shares doubled since August 2020 and it made a 20% correction after hitting $97. Now, stock price is at $78 with $86 billion market cap. Company recently announced their Q2 earnings beating estimates. Stock price is consolidated around $75 to $80. Can it hit $97 this year again or even higher next year? Can Micron technology hit $200 in 2022? The company historically focused on providing DRAM for PCs and servers. The firm expanded into the NAND flash memory market. They are in a competition with AMD, Nvidia and Intel. Later in this video, I will compare the growth and profitability to its competitors. According to the survey, due to increased demand in cloud server, automotive and PC market, the stock price can hit $200 in 2022. As I just said, their main business is memory and storage solutions. They provide these products to smartphone makers like Xiaomi, automakers and cloud services. So they have diverse customers in all industries that are growing. That's why it is less risky even though there's competition. Their revenues and profits were dropping last three years, but now we expect 20% average growth for next three years. The expectation is now that they will reach again this 25% net profit margins, again turning good old days in 2018. You can ask, why now? What is the reason behind this shift? I will come there in a minute. The company recently announced Q2 earnings, their Q3 fiscal earnings, beating estimates. They made $7.42 billion in revenue and $1.74 billion net profit, doubling year over year. This revenue came from different businesses like mobile, storage, compute and networking. With these earnings, they also provided us next quarter guide. $8.2 billion revenue and $2.6 billion profit we will be waiting. These numbers are huge for the company. In their balance sheet, they have $8.35 billion cash and $6.4 billion long-term debt, which is normal for this size of company. Semiconductor industry is a little bit different from the other industries because historically new technologies come every three, four years in cycles. At the beginning of the cycle, there is a huge demand for this technology and low supply. After investments of the company, then we see oversupply and company's profit margins decline. Here you can understand better what I just explained. It grows in cycles with new technologies. So when there is an undersupply like in 2020, that's a buying opportunity for this industry. We are now still in undersupply and correction period. That's why I still think there is a potential in some semiconductor companies until 2023. Here is the global semiconductor industry revenue growth since 1988. Similarly, we see positive and negative growth over years in cycles. We just finished first half of the 2021 and there is still growth ahead. You can say, okay, but not all semiconductors are same. There are memory, CPUs, microprocessors. Each sub-industries are different and they may have a different growth potential. Then let me show you what we expect from memory industry. I found this table showing memory market since 2006. As you see, after the peak at 2018, memory market was not in a good shape. This is also what we saw last three years revenues and profit of Micron technology. If you take the base as 2020, then we have a potential for 50 plus percent growth next two years. Isn't it amazing? New cycle starts for memory market with the transformation from DDR4 to DDR5. With DDR5, we will be reaching faster speeds with lower power consumption. With better power efficiency, scalability and lower latency, there will be shift to these devices with higher profit margins. This will create extra revenues and profits for the next two years. You can ask, okay, but can Micron technology perform better than its competitors? Next four quarters expectations are high for the company. Is there any reason for that? Any competitive advantage? Micron's one-alpha process technology to improve DRAM density by up to 40%. 
this new production technology will lower the costs and enable higher margins. I was listening to another conference call. There they mentioned that they will make around 10% cost reduction with this new technology. In addition to that, this will enable low power consumption which will bring the benefits to data centers, consumers, industrials and automakers. This tech will become very competitive by 2023 in terms of cost, cycle time and scalability. We talk about the semiconductor industry and new technologies, but what about the stock price? How is the valuation and profitability of the company compared to its competitors? Let me show you. Here's another table to compare American semiconductor makers. Don't worry, I will explain the table. Expected profits for next three years are listed. I basically divide market caps by profits to get forward PE ratios. Green area shows lower to price earning ratios, which is very really important for future valuation of the company. As you see, NVIDIA looks very overvalued compared to other companies. Microtech and Intel have less than 15 PE ratios. However, Intel doesn't promise any future growth for the next three years. Micron looks like the best option with low PE ratio and high growth. You can pause the video to analyze better if you want. I want to show you also the global memory makers in comparison. Here is a similar table with memory producers like Micron Technology. In this table, you see two companies from Taiwan, two companies from South Korea. Samsung has huge market cap close to $500 billion but they have a diverse product portfolio. When we compare Micron to other companies, it stands out. Micron can have even higher PE ratios because it's an American company. American companies tend to have higher valuations compared to companies in other countries. When we look at the growth potential, as you see, Micron can compete with them. By the way, if you are into automotive stocks, you can check our videos from here. We have analysis videos also about vegan food, vaccine and tech stocks. You can have a look in the channel. If you are new to this channel, you should subscribe so that you can watch the videos on time and get best value from it. When we look at our big picture, our checklist, Micron Technology has a good balance sheet with $8.4 billion cash. They are in a growing industry with disruptive production technology. The company is already profitable and 20% average growth ahead for the next 3 years. In summary, it gets 8 out of 10 as late night stocks score. For similar rated stocks, you can check out our Fly Me to the Moon series. Let's have a look at this stock price. We are now at 76 to 78 dollars and very close to 200 days average which represented by this red curve. We are also close to that trend line coming from August 2020. It looks like 75 dollars is a good resistance. It touched there 4 or 5 times. Next earnings will be held on the end of September so we have still time to buy in small portions. So these levels are good entry points in my opinion. When we look at the stock price fundamentally, if they meet the expectations and bring $5.4 billion revenue by the end of 2021, the stock price can go back to $100 level. If they manage this ramp up and meet the expectations for 2022, they can bring $12.5 billion profit and that can make the stock price $220. After 2022, we may see the growth cycle is ending. With similar profitability, we can reach $240. Looks like Micron can 3x from this level if they fulfill their estimates. I am not investment advisor, please do your own diligence. What is your price target? Please let me know your price target for next year in comment down below. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and give a like. <laughs>